for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him, which that was a lot. Okay? When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him because you had Israelites in line with the uh, Herodians. Okay? I want to say, I, did I show them that about the Herodians? How the Israelites was in line with them? That was on page uh, 330. Let me make sure. 332, I want to say. Yeah, I got to show you that too. Or was it the next? <laughs> or was it back? What was that? Uh, 220. Got to go back to 220. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was on page 226. It's locked. Let me show you. You know. Okay. So you had Israelites. You had Israelites uh, uh, trouble too because they was in league with them Herodians, man. Okay. So uh, it says when the king, this uh, verse three, Matthew two and three. It says when the when the when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Like I was saying, you had Israelites in league with them Edomites, man. So you see the situation, what's going on? Now this is before, uh, this is right at the time Yahweh Shai was finna be born. Now you see, you got Israelites in league with them Edomites, okay? Now, the reason why I mentioned John Hycranus, and I said remember that name, because during the time, that's why I read about the Maccabees, because during the time of the Maccabees, when you read in the Apocrypha, okay, and when you go into the Josephus, it tells you about how John Hycranus was teaching them Edomites, okay? And that's why you get Herod, them calling themselves uh, uh, king of the Jews, because they call themselves trying to keep keep our custom, okay? And you had Israelites allowing that to go on, but these are Edomites, man, okay? And the reason why John Hycranus was teaching them is because uh, he said when he took over the land of Edom, he said they was gonna have to keep them laws to stay in their land, but Esau can't keep them laws, man. You know, even though the most I was with John Hycranus, Esau, Esau cannot keep them laws, okay? And you had a lot of Pharisees, right? You had a lot of Pharisees back then that was, uh, uh, had a lot of uh, authority over the masses of the people that was in Israel, okay? And you had them Pharisees that was uh, righteous in their own mind and that was linked up with them Edomites, man. So here it is, you got, uh, Herod set up and thinking that he's uh, part of us just because he was, uh, they call himself keeping our law, he was not part of us. He was an Edomite, man. Okay? He was an Edomite. And and you had Israelites back then in agreements with it, man. That's why the Most High, that's why the Most High did what he did in 70 AD to them Israelites, man. To us as a people, man, back there in 70 AD, man. That's why he did that. That's why he bust Jerusalem up, man. That's why he laid it flat, man. Because Israel was going off, man, completely, man. Okay? They was going off completely. Okay? So, back then, like I said, John Hycranus, which was a descendant of the Maccabees, right? When you go into the history of it, which I read to you about it in the Xanthic Compact Bible Dictionary, okay? His name... But uh, he was teaching them uh, Edomites, man, to keep the, to keep the statute laws and commandments. And when Antiochus Epiphanes died, he took over uh, Syria, okay, John Hycranus. And then, uh, like I mentioned sometime, you had Herod, and you had his friend, Kostobarus, who was down there in Idumea, and John Hycranus was telling Kostobarus down in Idumea and Edom to keep, to keep uh, the commandments, man. So that's what was going on back then, man, okay? They had converted to uh, uh, Judaism, in other words, okay? 
these people, man. But he, he, today, these gutter rats that call themselves Jews, they believe in the Talmud, man. They don't believe in the King James Bible, man. And the Tal Talmud is contrary to the scriptures, man. Okay? It's contrary to the scriptures, okay? Now, going back over here. And then also, uh, I was going to mention something else, but uh, it escaped my thoughts. The Lord willing to come back to me. This is uh, Matthew 2 and uh, 3. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded them, them where a Mashiach should be born. And they said, and they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. So here it is. You got Israelites that's in league with these Edomites. And here it is, they telling these Edomites where the Savior is going to be born. Our own people, man. So they in league with them, they in league with them Edomites so the Edomites can get our Savior, man. Our own, our own, our own people, man. Back then, it was Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Today, you know them as the African American, which is Judah. Levi is a Haitian, and Benjamin is so-called West Indies, man. West Indians, man. Yeah, you had them. And back then, it was the Levite priest, man. So the Haitians, man, okay? Was letting, was letting uh, uh, them Edomites know where uh, the Lord is supposed to be born, according to prophecy, man. The Herod, the Edomite, man. So they were searching it out, man. So they were searching it out, man. Them Edomites were searching it out, man, okay? So, just like I was speaking, they know who we are today, okay? Them Edomites know who we are today, but to the masses of the people, uh, to the masses of the people, they're going to stay blind, man. But the elites, they know they know what's going on, man. They know that we sent out here by the Heavenly Father and His Son, but that's why they get nervous. But they're going to continue to do what they're doing because the Most High is going to harden their heart to where they're going to be stubborn and stiff-necked and fulfill prophecy, man. But they know what's going on. But two thirds of our people, they gonna stay in a confused state, man. They not gonna, they not gonna understand what's going on, man, until the missiles hit them. Okay. This is Matthew two and uh, three. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where, where. A Mashiach should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written in, by the prophets. So if it's written by the prophets, where did they get it from? In the Old Testament, because it was prophesied, that's where he was going to be born, right? And these stupid, these stupid uh, so-called Christians that pile up in them churches, they'll tell you uh, uh, the Old Testament is done away with, but they don't understand the Old Testament and the New Testament is one and the same. They don't they don't understand that, man, because they're not being taught the truth, okay? They're not being taught the proper breakdown of the Bible, man, okay? This is, uh, this is, uh, verse 5. This is Matthew 2 and 5. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Ju Judah, are, are not the least among the prince of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that, that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Okay, so you got this Edomite, Idumia, so-called white man, Okay, so-called white man is searching now uh, when the Lord is going to be born and you got uh, the Haitians, which was a priest back then, which was Levi, in lead in helping him, man. Okay, uh, this verse 7, then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired, the wise man inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. But he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when and when ye have found him, bring bring me word again that I might come 
and worship, worship him also. And that's a lie. Okay? This is the deception that's kicking off, man. Okay? And when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, a star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young the young child was. Now, that star was what you call a UFO, man. It was a chariot, okay? The, 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 the star was a chariot, man, okay? That's what it was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly, with exceedingly great joy, okay? And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when, and when they had opened the treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. 